and get ready to go. All right, so our average for Triforce on is sitting at a buck oh five, which isn't too terrible. I mean, I'd, I'm always happy when I get a sub one, but usually anything around like buck oh two, buck oh three is pretty fucking good. So anything above average at this point or below average, I don't know how you would say that. Anything better than average would be really appreciated now. So let's go. Let's let's do this in three, two, one. Go 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 go. Big ol' heart container at the house. That's okay. That's not not a bad thing to pick up right away. But now instead, instead of doing the old fight Ganon thing, we're just looking for some Doritos. Our bag of Doritos is empty. We need to go fill it up. So we're looking for 20 Doritos. Tree pull is full magics. Again, great, awesome. Two, three more. Yeah, <laughs> no. I am already very tired, so no, we're not doing three more. We'll be lucky to get through this one. No, Uncle only had, some, had a bomb cap in his pocket there. Didn't even have the real thing. What a shit. What a shit. Ah, there's some busy bams though, so that's good. It's called a Triforce for a reason. Well, that's, you know, we're doing two of the three. Isn't that enough? Rob the church real quick here. An arrow cap? Boo! May as well have been nothing for as good as that is. I mean, he doesn't die. Uncle doesn't die. He's just kind of, he's having a rest. He's having a little sit down. He had a rough night last night. We're just going to let him have a little nap. I mean, we'll see him in about an hour and change, so he's fine. He's fine. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And also, it's his fault for being in the sewer. Like, we didn't do that. He toddled his butt down there somehow. How's that our fault? Oh, dropping big old 20s. But of course, drops it behind the fucking Mario Bros. Lumberjacks here. Can't even get more than one of them. Bullshit ass, crab ass, drop ass, bullshit. All right, what do we got on Lumberjack? Oh, we got a little, we got a little triangle. Got a little Dorito on Lumberjack there. We're probably not gonna care about it. There's no way in heck I, I'm gonna go for uh, six minutes just to get some, uh, just get a single ass Dorito. Bum, bum. Crab drop being 20 roots is pretty solid. Like, probably the, the only the better crab drop would be bombs. But since we've already got a set of bombs the way it is, getting 320 roops by the time we hit Lost Woods is pretty fucking solid. Easy cash. Oh, hey, look at this. Here's 10 bombs. Excellent. Fun fact about that 10 bombs item, that is not uh, native to vanilla. Oh, nice, and 300 rupees. We've already got enough for Bottle Vendor and Zora. Uh, the 10 bomb item is not native to vanilla Link to the Past. That is a new addition for the rando. So that's a little fun, fun little factoid that uh, we can let you all know about while we're doing this, you know? So that's that's what we're all about here. We're all about having the funds and doing the learnings. And when we can do both, I'd call that a successful night. And dad base. We are all about dad base as well. No trouble though. Don't even get me started on the trouble. We don't want that trouble. Get that trouble bullshit out of here. Whoa! This is a rich-ass seed. We've almost got a thousand. Ooh, a nice mirror, though. Big old heart container. My goodness. My goodness, we are uh, rolling deep here. Arrow cap. Not a whole lot of, like, practical, usable value, but... You know, I can't even complain about getting all that money. Boom, 
Red meringue. Surprise, we haven't seen a single ass Dorito yet. Nothing but money and capacity upgrades. No Doritos. We've got some love. More money. My goodness. More money. <laughs> uh oh. Like, usually we have three Doritos by now, but now we've got nothing. This is straight up nothing. Big ol' heart container for sale for a hundred bucks. I think, I think I'd do that. I'd trade a hundred bucks for a little more life, you know? That seems like a fair trade. Oops, totally duffed that chicken throw. Back to the KFC. The magic cape. Mmm. What an intriguing item. Interesting item to have. So, are we gonna leave Kakariko with zero Doritos? That would be a first for us. It's like, well, it appears to be that way, huh? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, I can't say I'm happy about that. Considering the absolute volume of items there, but. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wow, the library. The library also has a Dorito. High up on that shelf. Alright. Hmm. A very curious start. Ten arrows at the race game. That we don't really care about. here. What do we get? We got the... Did we get the bug net? I think we did. The red meringue. That's about it, though. Big old 20. Alright, enough with the money, please. We've got plenty of it. We don't need any more. And this is the only time you'll hear me say that. I could use hell a lot more money IRL. I mean, who couldn't? Honestly, there's our first Dorito. Bam! Seven minutes in. How very generous of you, Seed. Thank you. Oh, the magic cape too. Oh no, I did. I did mark that one off. Bum, ba -da -ba -da. Oh, get down there, you fuck. Hey, there's a flute. That's nice. Piece of candy, ten arrows. Another 50 roops, Jesus. Another big ol' heart container. Alright, well, it's been a pretty healthy seed, too. It's been a healthy seed, and we've got some fast travel under our belt. That's good. That's a good game. That's a good game and a good soundtrack. Link's Adventure. Or Adventure of Link? Whatever. However you pronounce it. However you say it. That's a good-ass game. Very quirky for its time. But most uh, direct sequels were. Mario 2 was quirky as hell. Final Fantasy 2 was quirky as hell. Find me a direct sequel from that area or from that era that wasn't quirky as hell, I guess is what I'm asking for. Bet you can't. Bet you can't. I mean, like, that even bled over into the SNES era, too. Like, Mario World 2 was quirky as hell, although very good. What other sequels were really, like, kind of weird?
Paper Mario is a sequel to Super Mario RPG. All right, I, I can I can buy that. That's that that's a pretty quirky game too. I would say that's a little weird. I mean, Super Mario RPG on its own was kind of weird too, but you know, Contra uh, Super C was pretty standard. I would say it hewed very close to the original Contra. <laughs> Just kind of got a okay. We're, we're there. Banjo Tooie. Uh, I don't know. I can't really speak to that one that much because I didn't play a whole lot of Banjo Kazooie. Pocket full of Doritos gives us one. How very generous. Very generous of him to do that for us. What do we got? Oh, we got another, another Dorito up top there. How about inside? Oh, the moon pearl's inside. You can bet your bottom butt we're going for that. I don't know. I kind of miss the days of, like, super quirky-ass sequels. Now we're up to Halo 10 millions and the, the Call of Duty's 50 billion, and it's just all the same garbage. It's all the same garbage, man. Allow me to put on my old bogey ass gamer ass opinion hat and say all that stuff is trash. Because now you got all the PUBGs and the Fortnites and everybody's doing Battle Royale bullshit. Murder simulators are still popular as hell. It's just like, yeah, okay, we've seen all this before. We've seen it. Old news. Popular. Probably fun in some respects, but... I don't know. I just don't get down with it. I'm not down with that. Very much. Like, my, I had my go at the shooters in the late 90s and early aughts. And that was enough for me. There's Dorito number three, by the way. Uh, where are we headed? Go hit Sahash. We could dip into Hera, but I really don't want to do that right now. Katamari no Kami, yeah. Those those were weird as hell. 100% agree. But those were fun, too. My goodness, Okami was a blast. Katamari was great. Goodness me. There will always be some very good treasures that just get drowned the fuck out by the latest... 50 million shades of brown and murder simulator. Always. Always, always. I don't know. I, I, I guess I won't... I won't hold it against people that like that stuff. They're in a bottle, fiver, big old heart container. I won't hold it against people that like that stuff. Everybody can like whatever the fuck they want. Nintendo can be weird sometimes. Well, yeah, I mean, modern Nintendo is built around weird, usually. Although, they have done their fair share of rehashing. Come on, let's be honest. They rehash and resell and remaster, quote-unquote, pretty much everything all the time. So, they print their own goddamn money by re-releasing another Mario or another Zelda. I say as I play am, am playing one of the best Zelda games in existence. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Nintendo feels about randomizers like this? I don't know. That's a good question. It's certainly uh, gotten much more popular in recent years, which is fun and cool and awesome. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised Nintendo hasn't tried to put the whole kibosh on it. But hey, you never know. Ooh, a hammer. I like that shit. I like that a lot. Bom, they're working up to it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Rip Emu Paradise. They were my go-to source. They were 100% my go-to source for the emulator shit. And now they're gone. That makes me sad. I mean, that's not to say, like, emulation is going to die out entirely, because there are tons of sites out there for it. There's no way in heck you're not going to be able to find what you need to find. <clears throat> that genie is not going back into that bottle. Fucking skeletons. Kind of sense our way with this giant ass hammer. Alright, we'll wait for those guys to go out of my way, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, Emo Paradise was my go to. Not necessarily the best looking or the easiest to use site in existence. Um, but they did have just about anything I could possibly look for, and we are out of here. Oh, we got the mirror. Never mind. Let's do that. And it was usually legit, too. Like, I didn't have to worry about shady shit going on, no viruses or what have yous. I was always real careful about that stuff, of course, as one should always be. But they were... They always felt like the most legit in my eyes. But rip emo paradise. Oh well. So it goes. So it goes. I can't blame them for doing what they did in closing out. Because nobody wants to deal with that garbage. Ain't nothing. Ain't not ever something you want to deal with there. That's right. I think if, uh... If Nintendo were ever to go against or go after the randomizer scene, that might be a bit too far, I think. That might be just like the bullshit that turns a fair amount against them. Like going after emulators and shit is still kind of legit, because it's their IP or whatever, you know? Um, but going against randos is kind of is kind of a real bad idea. <laughs> kind of a real bad idea. But anyways, I guess I guess we'll see. We'll have to see what the future holds. Ba -ba 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 
Alright, well that was kind of a bust. Alright, let's go up and do hero right now. Oh! I was not paying attention to how much health I had. That's on me. Wait, where did I get a fairy? Oh, a fairy in a bottle, that's right. Whoops, well, uh, we had that back up there. Then I won't go after Rando. Rando said it doesn't store any ROMs, just patches the ROM. Yeah, I mean, I know that. You know that. A lot of people know that. That uh, doesn't stop bullshit from happening, unfortunately. Because companies will do some stupid bullshit if they feel that any money that they think is rightfully theirs is threatened. Whether they have the legal rights to do so or not. That's just how this world goes. Because this world sucks. Let's be honest, this world is not great. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> Serious pessimism? Hey man. I've been living in this world for 30 years. I. It's, pre it's pessimistic, but I also believe it to be realistic. I ain't about to pretend that this world is all kittens and rainbows. Because it ain't. It ain't. And I'd argue some serious delusion if you thought so. But hey, you can think what you want. That's the beauty of this. Uh, I cannot do this because I don't have a source of fire, do I? Nope! Ah, oh, shit. Now it's a waste of time. Alright, what do we got up top there? Get to it and a piece of candy. Alright. That's fine and cool. Alright, this is gonna be a trick and a half. We're at one heart. And we've got the hammer. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit of touch and go trying to get past all this garbage. Hitbox on this is so jank. This one's gonna give me the most trouble, probably. Ah, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We're the best. Okay, what do we got for our trouble? Is this the piece of candy? Alright, that's something. Mm, I was tempted to go up there for it, but let's just uh, take this a little bit more safely. Given our current health situation. Oh, the single arrow. This run is valid. And the fire rod. Nice. Alright. Well, now we can go back and do fucking Tower of Hera. Got ourselves a fire source. Down here. T 
to hear pounding like a mini formula on Thank you. Oh, flippers. Power glove. The lamp. <laughs> Big old lard container. And 300 roots. My goodness. Death Mountain, the place to be. For uh, movement items. Is Hera going to be worth it? I guess it's only two items, so not that worth. But we'll, we're up here. God damn it. Get out of my fucking way, Mini Wormulon. Stop it. Ugh. Number four, final fucking E. If we're lucky enough, we won't have to fight Wormulon. Nope! We have to fight Wormulon. <laughs> Damn it. Of course. That's alright. We got hammer strats for Wormulon this time. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Not, mm. Gotta fall at least once. Ba -bum -bum -bum. Bum 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 gotten real salty if we had died there. Bearing a bottle 
again. A little, little bit of backup. It's fine, I guess. <laughs> All right, it's looking like probably escape is the way to go. We're gonna get a seven straight in a row. Oh wait, no. Did I do front side escape? I feel like I did. I think I did. I think I did. I guess we'll do back side escape. One of these will be a small key, probably. Yep. That's triangle number five. Piece of candy, give us another fill up. Number six. All right. Making progress. <laughs> Making very, very slow progress. Dorito on the island there. Okay. I've seen a lot of backup Doritos. Makes me a little worried. But that is one we can get as soon as we get Dark World accents. Uh, which we have? Oh no, we don't. Did I? I think I have the Moon Pearl, don't I? Right? Yeah, I just forgot to mark it down. Okay, so we have Dark World access. We have access to that Dorito. Candy there. Kind of worthless. for a shield and some blue mail. Okay. Old gravity suit to help us out. Piece of candy, a vanilla ass piece of candy on the ledge again. Two for two on the night. For a Dorito, that's the most expensive Dorito I've ever had, but totally worth. Totally worth. All right, uh, where are we headed now? Probably to Dark World. Seems like the place to be. 
Seems like the place to be. Oh wait, uh, let's check Sick Kid real quick since we've got some bottles now. Ah, another Dorito. Thanks, Sick Kid. Slowly clawing our way towards halfway there. Materials to go for uh, uh, bumper cave already. It's kind of surprising. That's really all you need is the magic cave. So you can wiggle your way around the hole instead of having to have hook shot. Is it worth it? It is not. Goo there, just in case we need it. Useful, but not terribly so. Sharp, stabby thing, please. Again, going multiple dozens of minutes before getting one. Hey, there's number nine. All right. That's cool, too. That's good news. some booty boots much earlier than a buck fifty in. How about that? Ba-dum-ba-dum, 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 ba-
and I fucked it up. Pretty close, though. Ten. We are halfway there. Also got a good chance of not having to fight blind to get the last item out of here. Should be super helpful. Oh wait, we don't have the small key. Well, this will be an interesting uh, blind fight. Huh. I suppose we do have magic cape, but it doesn't really help since we don't have a stabby weapon. This looks like we're going hammer strands. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is gonna be a not good fight. Well, let's do it. Let's get some. Let's get some practice. Some practice with our uh, fireball dodging skills, apparently. Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, this is not gonna end well. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I kind of figured that would happen. Oh, we got a backup fairy! I forgot! When did we get that? Must have been another fairy in a bottle. A fairy in a bottle pickup. Very, very lucky. still be able to pull this off. Wouldn't that be a thing? It is a thing. Goodness me. Okay, let's suck shit blind. And it's the silvers. Wow. What a fucking pull that was. But alright. Just need a bow to use it. Hmm. Alright, I think it's time for some Dark World fetch quests then. Maybe we'll stop in the swamp and see what we can pull there. Still no sword to speak of, though. Go figure. I like this song. It's very, very dynamic and upbeat. Something I need more of in my life, it seems. Alright, any time digging game. Hey, we dug up a sword! Look at this! Look at this little pokey weapon. Fucking time. We did it, though. Only took 44 minutes. From old Stumpy, thanks, old Stumpy. Coming through in the clutch for us. Ooh. 
I love the love these tunes. Ouch. Well, th okay, thank you. That's two for two, fucko. Shit. From Hype Cave. Bombos. There's the D. And another one. Ah, Hype Cave. Proper hype. Finally, some proper hype from the Hype Cave. Okay. I like that. Alright, what's our next uh, what's our next stop here? Probably pod. Most item dense place we can go. Got all the items that we need to kind of finish it. Pot and swamp to hopefully maybe finish this off. Oh, wait, what are we doing? I'm gonna go dead center. small key right here. I know I am. Well, let's go. Oh, it's the compass. Even worse than a small key. Not even useful at all. Nice. There's our third small key. Oh, I 
Oops. <laughs> Wrote the right way, idiot. Fifty rupees. The burrito. Yeesh. All right, they are backloading all these items apparently. Ooh, here's another good song. Oh, I'll be, I'll be singing this one too. Boom, boom. That's a really good song. Nice and chill. Hope I did it justice well enough there. Pyramid real quick and then go for Swamp. Another six items available to us. So realistically, we only need to find about four more, because we know where two are. One's on Lake Hylia Island, one is at the library. Ooh, and one 
comes at the pyramid, apparently. Thankly, dankly. Alright, so if we could find three at Swamp, that'd be really fucking cool and awesome. I suppose we could have mirrored out and polluted to our house there, but oh well, we're committed. One. One straight out the gate. I like that. That's a, that's a good ass sign. For having zero for seven minutes. Getting a lot, like, straight away into each dungeon is pretty good. Super old school stuff coming up now. Excellent. five items to go here. We might just luck the fuck out. Uh, half magic's not bad. Not a bad thing to grab. Exactly what we were looking for, but not bad. And a little piece of candy. 
bone. Uh, we just need like, two of the last three to be gold Doritos, and then we'll pretty much be done. Out here, a burrito. Big, God damn it! So the big chest will have one of them. Superb. You know what? So we don't have to go back and do this again. Let's just go check it out. It's not that far to backtrack. I guess I deserve that. Better to know. Better to know and be sure, though. Excessively interesting and good for us, but something. Strat stuff. I suppose we could do hammer strats as well, but this is probably probably still a little bit faster, not having to do all the menuing. Silver arrow, get ready, 100% accuracy. Yeah, see what I what I tell you, 100% accuracy. Damn it. Yeah, first try. <laughs> Eat shit, Argus. Ah, the Titans mitts. Well, I am super glad I went to swamp then. That will open up the rest of the world pretty much for us. to many different spots. We really only need to get two more. And that'll be that. This won't be a... This won't be a better than average run, I don't think, but... It'll be hot on its heels. Oh, eh? Yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go get that one over on the island, but... Thought better of it. Just in case. You never quite know when you're gonna need it. Never quite know. There's a 
second sword. Finally, a Bucko 5 in. And another Dorito. Excellent. All right. We're cooking with gas here. Oh, wait. I forgot to... I forgot to hit 16 whenever that was. That's fine, I guess. I guess it's fine. All right. What do we got to get into there? Ether. Doesn't matter. We're not going in there. All right. What's on the ledge here? A oh, little fiver. Don't care about that. Avoid going into desert. We can. Many other places we can go that'll more than likely be enough to put us over the edge here. Defense. A little bit of a defensive item. Not ideal at this part of the... At this point in the run when we're just looking for Doritos, it's not really the, the best item to have. But... Alright, let's do some fast travel here. Uh, fastest would be here to get to the library. Kylia Island, and then we'll head on over to some other places. Oops, that is the wrong place to go. This is probably the faster portal. Although, having that mistaken flute there probably makes it less fast. I probably should have just gone with it. Oh well. Committed. We're committed. Just need one more, and we are out. And we done, son. Actually, uh, thought better of this before we go up the mountain. We've got Bonk Rocks and King's Tomb awaiting us. Perhaps one of those will save us a trip up the mountain. Gonna we'll take a little, little risk here in the hopes that it'll pay off. quest if we so choose. We may as well before we head up the mountain as well. It's uh, be a little bit quicker. Unless we get super lucky and Fox has the final Dorito. We can always dream. We can always dream. <laughs> there we go. Easy fucking peasy. Bucko 945. That's not great. But it's not bad either. Like, sub 110 is still pretty solid in my book. So we gonna go with it. Prepare to fast forward. Let's look at some stats and we'll be done for the night. It's actually perfect music for this little credits tunes.
I think we did pretty well routing rise on that one. Hit the high density areas pretty well. We went a, we went after a few kind of one-offs. Probably when we shouldn't have, but I mean, what else is new, right? Buck 0945. Okay. That's not, not the worst thing in the world. What does that push our average to? Buck 06? Slightly less than Buck 07. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Let me tell you what. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how that went. Let's take a look at some final stats and we'll wrap it up for tonight. sword, a very late first sword again. Pretty moderate boots. Early flute was nice. Early mirror is always good too. Stupid swordless bullshit. <laughs> no deaths. Which is good. Two kind of surprise fairy revivals though because I totally forgot that I picked up those two bottles with fairies already. But not bad. Otherwise not bad. Not bad, not bad. Alright, that's it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll be back on some Assault Android Cactus speedrun practice. Then Monday night, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back to enter the Gungeon. We'll give that another week. Maybe another two weeks, because I'm having a lot of fun with it. Always have a lot of fun with Gungeon. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.